Jump right into this real-time edit. I got this American coot uh, t really kind of tearing up some uh, some grasses there, some aquatic grasses. It had just dove down and got them. So, um, and then I think I think that might be a mallard there, and then a hooded merganser back there. They were kind of in the way, so I'm gonna have to deal with them. So I shot this really dark because I wanted it that way, but I can't really see the uh, the water line right now. So I'll just kind of crank the exposure so I can make sure that. It is actually level there. Oh, that was a shoveler. That's right. It was a northern shoveler. All right, cool. So now I have that. I'll reset the exposure and then just kind of crop this how I want, which is, I don't know whether to go low or high with the bird in the frame there. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, going to warm it up just a little bit. And then let's see. Just maybe kick up the exposure a little bit, but bring the blacks back down. I want to maintain, I definitely want to maintain that dark look, uh, but I want to kind of get all these areas nice and bright. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, actually. That's kind of, I think that's where I want it. There's a little bit of separation on the bird right there, and I'll just kind of enhance that in Photoshop. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop that over in Photoshop now, and then get to editing it there. Uh, I definitely want to get rid of that. A darn hooded mergans are in the way. All right, so I think I'll do that first. Oh, wait, let me bring my uh, palettes over here. There we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of clone that out back there. Just kind of easily get rid of that. It is nice when it's just all black space like that. Just kind of a real easy thing to kind of fade away. There was one water drop that I think I I lost there, so let's see if I can find where that was. Yeah, there we go. Just bring that back. Alrighty. Uh, and then, yeah, there's like some weird little bit of like lighter area back there, and then I think I'm gonna, gonna just kinda probably clone out these water ripples over here or maybe just kind of fade them a little bit yeah something like that I think works I kind of want the most of them to be right around the bird not all the way over there so all right um, now I will drop another layer on to really darken it and then I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna paint out some of it sorry I don't know why I got over the lightroom there all right yeah I'm just gonna paint some of that out off the bird Actually, I think I might paint it in because it's kind of hard to see where I don't want it. So, yeah, maybe it's just easier to not have the effect everywhere, and then I'll just kind of paint it in where I want it. There we go. Make everything nice and black. Just a complete solid black back there. I think works quite nicely. And then let's punch up those water drops just a little bit more. Let's see if that does the trick yeah I mean there's not much to them so just kind of lighten them up and then I'm gonna just come in and kind of make sure you can really see the edge of the bird like the back of it there just kind of lighten that up with a dodge layer here there we go yeah there's not much there and I don't want there to be a lot there but I do just want there to be some separation and then across the top of the head there, just kind of complete that shape a little bit more, I think is good. And then maybe just kind of brighten up the beak and the grasses there, really kind of make all that stand out nicely. And then the fun reflection makes sense to see that just a little bit more as well. There we go. Um, I don't like all the blue that's happening in the shadow back there. It's just a little too much for me. So I'll just go ahead and desaturate some of that but leave it on the water. And in fact, if anything, I think I'll enhance it on the water. Uh, just go ahead and make that more blue because I do like that deep, rich blue on these areas here. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. And that's nice because everything is just kind of going black around it. I don't have to be real precise. I can just kind of roughly paint it in here and it's only going to affect it where there was some detail to begin with. And then, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw a dodge layer on and see if I can get all these water drops to stand out just a little bit more. 
I think I think my black contrast yeah, I thought maybe that black contrast layer made them smaller, but it really didn't. I was just kind of checking the before and after on that. Yeah, I guess they're about as bright as they're going to get there. There's not a lot of these water drops, so I don't know that um, there's much I can do to really make them stand out. Although there's some of these when I'm hitting them are getting a little bit brighter, so I guess I'll do that a few more times there, but I think that's it. And then there's this one area back here that's just kind of still a little uh, weirdly light in some areas there, so I'll just kind of fade that to black. And there we go. I think uh, I think that'll do it. Now, you know what? I do want to see a little bit more of the completion of the head there, like along the top of the head. So I'm just going to really kick that up and then make it really golden like the rest of it was. I think that should do it. Let's see. If I kind of paint that in nice and small along there. Let's get a nice small brush. Yeah, there we go. All right, a little too red and yellow, so I'll fix that in a second, but that's going to kind of do it. Fade it out a little bit there. All right, so less red, a little bit less yellow, and yeah, nice. Yeah, there we go, that did it. All right, cool, so there's the before, after. Now you can definitely see all the attention goes here. All the other distractions just kind of fade away at that point. Uh, and yeah, this was, this is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it to be kind of about the shape and the bill and the seaweed or whatever that grass is that it's eating there. Uh, so give me one sec and I will show you the before and after. So there is the difference between the top is the total before bottom is the total after. And there you go. That's the final image right there. All right, so thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how I do all this stuff, head on over to rayhennessy.com. Go to the workshop section, and then the easiest thing for most people is to check out the online workshops. I have a whole new revamped page here, so it's a little bit easier to find what you're looking for. Got remote sessions. Uh, my new online Lightroom for wildlife photography course is available. That's a great course for anybody who lives anywhere to just really dive into Lightroom. And then, of course, I have my bird photography course, and then the mentorships are available as well. So check all those out right there, uh, or just visit the main page of my website and see new photos and videos. I got a lot of behind the scenes videos coming out recently, as well as just some wildlife videos to check out. So tons of content all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.